Okay, Mad Dog 2001 here. Uh, I still don't know what's fucked up with this camera. Uh, yeah, I don't understand it. So the picture's kind of weirded out. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna make a wrestling video for like the first time in like two years, it seems. Uh, got done watching Elimination Chamber and Raw. Uh, I don't get to watch them live because I work when they're on, so I watch them when I get home. And then by the time they're done, it's like 4 or 5 in the morning, and it's like, tired, want to go to bed. But anyways, going to make it anyways. Uh, I like the fact that Jericho wins the title. Uh, dislike the fact that he has to, you know, it seems like they're just going to have him drop the belt to Edge, which is fine I guess I mean I like Edge I like Jericho I just wish there would be a way that you could maybe have Jericho win the first match and then Edge win it at Backlash or wait it's not called Backlash it's Extreme Rules now another thing I noticed Elimination Chamber uh, Michael Cole Ugh. I've always hated this guy and uh, well at least since he's been on Smackdown and one thing I noticed is the announcing team really needs JBL back. Uh, I mentioned I mentioned this a lot. Uh, JBL, besides his wrestling ability, I mean most people hate him for his wrestling ability. I've always loved him because I still think he's probably one of the the best heels of at least in the last five years that I've seen. I mean he can get a, he gets a crowd reaction and when he comes out. He can. I don't think there's one single wrestler that can like go toe to toe with him just on the mic alone it seems like he's always making himself look better than them even if he loses I mean remember that time when he just didn't win a match I think for at least it seemed like four or five months but he still talked like he was the best in the in the business today and he made you believe it that was the whole thing but him when he was commentating with Michael Cole uh, it made SmackDown watchable. I mean, I love that on SmackDown they show From the Vault and they always show something from 2006, 2007, and JBL's on the commentating team and it just realizes how much I actually miss him. Uh, just on my TV or just, just you know, he brings so much to the table. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any sort of a comeback for him anytime soon. I don't see it coming. Uh, if anything, it'll be an announcer, but I doubt he's going to come back just to announce he wants to wrestle. Uh, also, it looks like we're going to have Edge versus, well, obviously, Edge versus Jericho at Mania. Then we're going to have uh, Taker versus Shawn Michaels. This is interesting. I kind of like this now. This isn't, now it looks like Shawn Michaels could win. It also looks like Taker could win also. So now you don't know who's going to win right off the bat. Uh... I don't want, I'm not a big fan of Shawn Michaels, uh, those that know me, I can't, st I, I, I've never really liked him, I don't like Triple H either, but, you know, between the two of them, uh, I don't like either of them, but the whole thing is, the match is going to be good, that's all that matters, I guess, uh, next, we're going to have, uh, Batista vs. John Cena, it looks like, at Wrestlemania, this, I'm surprised it's not getting any hype. Uh, these two basically hit stardom in 2005 when they both won their respectful titles for the respectful brands. Uh, when Batista beat Triple H and John Cena beat JBL for the title. And ever since those two won the championships, they've been the two mega stars and they never really confronted each other because they were always on separate brands until SummerSlam two years ago when you know Batista beat them. But Batista's always been a baby face. Now Batista's heel and he's facing John Cena who's going to be a big baby face after what just happened last night. Or tonight actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to this match. I would love to see Batista win. I, I think he could possibly win. I could see John Cena winning. doesn't really matter. Now, that I have a... F and then what about another question for WrestleMania? Are we going to see Randy Orton vs. Legacy? Really don't want to see this. Ted DiBiase vs. Randy Orton possibly. Or Ted DiBiase vs. Cody Rhodes. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. DiBiase vs. Orton. Rose vs. Orton. 
we're going to have a, I, I mean, it looks like we're going to have some kind of match from that. Uh, what does this leave for Triple H? Who's Triple H going to face? I hope to God it's not Sheamus. Because then, you know, another WWE talent gone, gone to waste, being lost in the shuffle. I don't know, where is Sheamus on this? And one thing I don't understand on this Raw, you had Triple H versus, or you had, my bad. John Cena versus Batista. If John Cena wins, he main events at WrestleMania against Batista. If he loses, Sheamus goes. Why the fuck was Sheamus... Why wasn't he even involved, period? Uh, first of all, shouldn't Sheamus control his own destiny? Why the fuck is Cena controlling Sheamus' destiny? Sheamus was the defending fuck... He's the fucking cha He was the fucking champion. I mean, I know that no one takes him seriously... I know, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Sheamus, but I will defend him in this case. He should be fucking involved. Straight simple. That's what I, that's what I agree. I mean, that's what I think. He should be involved in the match. Now, I have a feeling we're going to have Sheamus versus Triple H. Because you know Triple H is going to be somewhat involved in WrestleMania. And you know he ain't going to lose to Sheamus. That's just not going to happen. And the match is probably going to suck. The Money in the Bank ladder match looks like it's going to happen. Uh, Christian just qualified tonight. Uh, I don't know if they're going to go eight guys or six guys this year. I mean, it looks like they're going to go four from each brand. So the Raw guys are probably going to be, well, the SmackDown guys for sure, are probably going to be CM Punk, uh, probably Rey Mysterio, uh, John Morrison, and then maybe R-Truth. My guess. The Raw side, obviously Christian. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who else they're going to throw in there. Possibly, uh, they might just throw in Cody Rhodes if he's not involved. If he's not going to be involved with Orton. Uh, I, I mean, I really don't. Maybe they'll throw Miz in the big show in that mix. Uh, who knows? I mean, a lot could happen. Maybe they'll throw in The Miz, uh, Mark Henry again. Mark Henry looked looked very good last year in that. I mean, they can go so many different ways for Money in the Bank. Just I know the talent is on the SmackDown side. And that's... Maybe they should just go a bunch of SmackDown guys. I mean, that's that's just my opinion. Then you can throw... Oh, Kofi Kingston is probably going to be involved in Money in the Bank this year. My bad. Forgot about him. Can't believe I forgot about Kofi. But other than that, I mean, this year's WrestleMania looks looks like it's going to be a pretty stacked card, but pretty predictable at the same time. Uh, I mean, I th I think Shawn Michaels is going to win this year, but we'll see what happens. I don't really care what either way. Uh, this is uh, another thing I noticed is the tag team. Uh, a lot of people are bitching about Miz holding the U.S. title and the tag title. I like that. I like the fact that he has it. Has both. Uh, the fact is that Miz, as much as people hate him and whatever for whatever reason, he's he's very entertaining. I think he is, especially when he was with the Big Show. Tonight was freaking hilarious with the bull riding thing. How Big Show just like picked a fight with a bull that wasn't even real, you know. But they kind of make Big Show look stupid at the same time. But he did get the victory tonight. So, between all that, I mean, it's looking like maybe they'll face Mark Henry and MVP. I hope fucking not. Who fucking cares? Uh, this leaves, what, what about Drew McIntyre? Uh, is he going to have a match at WrestleMania? And who is he going to face? Hopefully not Kane again. And you know Kane's going to be part of WrestleMania. There's no way he's going to be left out. So a lot, a lot is being circumcised here <laughs> for WrestleMania. So we'll see what happens in the previous weeks. Anyways, Mad Dog 2001. Expect a video soon because gobble. Boo!